So there's going to be several differences to the webinar format in comparison to the meeting format that you are used to seeing in your classes and other Zoom activities that you've likely been a part of. And the first thing that you'll notice right away is as a participant here you can see that I only have three buttons here at the bottom. I've got a chat button, a raise hand button, and a Q&A button. Uh, you'll see that there's no, over here on the right hand side, there's no um, list of participants that's available and I don't have a people option down here so I can't see who else is logged in. There's no microphone option here so while I do have an audio settings um, you'll notice that the only thing I have is I can select my speaker. I can't select a microphone because I can't talk in this particular instance um, because I am a participant or an attendee in this webinar. And so the only people that could talk would be this guy here and anyone else who are in as host or panelists. So what's going to happen during the event itself is that the host of the event is going to make you a panelist. So when they do that, you're going to see on your screen, it'll actually leave and you'll come back in as a panelist. And now you can see, I can unmute myself, I can turn on my camera, I can see the participants, I can share my screen. Um, so what you will do at that point, obviously, is you would share your screen and go bring up your presentation. And once you've done that, you're gonna click, or you're recording actually. And make sure when you do that, you click on share, computer sound and optimize screen for video clips. So you're going to basically make sure those two boxes down there are checked and then wherever your video happens to be of your presentation, say I don't have one open here now, but say this one here was the item. You're going to click on that and then click share and then that will share your screen. And what will happen is your recording will go through and play once your recording has finished and you stop sharing the screen, you're going to go over and start the video as well as unmute yourself. And then you're going to answer any questions. Now to see the questions that come in, you can click on this Q&A button down here at the bottom. And what will happen is any questions that have been asked of you will show up right here. Although you also don't have to do that because one of the faculty will actually be looking at those questions and they will be fielding those questions. And then when you're done, the host will actually change you back to an attendee. which will cause you to log out and log back into the way in which you were originally in. Now as you're watching the other students, using the chat you can write in words of encouragement. And what will happen is if you have it just selected down here as panelists, only the students and the student who's presenting as well as the faculty will be able to see it. If you want everyone to be able to see it, click on the panelist button here and change it to all panelists and attendees. And then you can write something positive to them or make some comment and everyone will be able to see it. Now in terms of the questions, you want to use this button right here. So when you click on the Q&A button, you'll notice that unlike when you were the presenter, so when you were presenting your particular poster, you could see what the questions were asked. In this one, you can't see any of the asked questions. But you can ask them. And you can either send them with your name attached to it, or you can send them anonymously. For the purposes of the poster presentation, we will not be addressing anonymous questions. So make sure you do not select the send anonymously option. And when you click send, what will happen is you always see your questions. So you'll always be able to see the questions that you ask. You likely won't be able to see the questions that other people ask. So that's basically the differences in the 
webinar format and the meeting format and how we're going to be running the poster presentation. So I look forward to working with you all and encourage you to attend one of the two practice sessions so that we can go through and that you can actually look at where these options are and make sure that you have them and it will also allow us to do any troubleshooting if any issues arise.